What's up guys, Eric Psychic here with another hunting spawn for you to check out. Today I'm going to be showing you guys one of my all time favorite spawns to PG in. You can get to the spawn at level 25, but level 30 is where you can rack up crazy experience. Not many Tibby players know about this spawn or how to get here, so it's pretty empty on most worlds. The spawn I'll be showing you today, the Upper Spike. Whew. The Spike is located in Khazardun. To get there from the depot, you just have to head west down two staircases, east down a third staircase, and then all the way north past the Phoenix Blessing area until you reach a room with MPC Zelvar. In this room, there are two portals. The east portal brings you to Gnome Base Alpha, and the north portal brings you to the Spike. Once inside, the floor you're going to want to hunt is minus three. Head down two staircases and through the portal to the west. Now you're officially in the third floor of the upper spike. In this spawn, you can get 300 to 400k per hour here, and I've blown many vouchers hunting here on 600k per hour. At that rate, you can level your character from 30 to 50 in two and a half hours. I gained three levels just in the making of this video. The one problem with this spawn though is that it's a huge waste. You can expect to spend upwards of 20k in a single hunt here and get none of it back because you aren't picking up loot. I've honestly never tried looting the spike, so I'm not sure what kind of profit it is. I'm usually too lazy to do anything but PG when I'm on a mage until around level 100, so I'll have to test the profit with a knight or paladin sometime. But if you have the money to blow and just want to get your new character or maker to 50 as fast as possible, then this spawn is for you. So the route I take in this spawn is simple. First I head east to the Quorums, and then I run southeast to the Undeads when I'm waiting for the Quorums to respawn. This is the best route I've found so far, but if you think you can get better experience on a different path, let me know. So you're probably wondering what kind of armor you should bring. You're going to want the lightest equipment possible to hunt here because you're going to be carrying and using a lot of supplies. I highly recommend wearing the best defensive armor you can that is light and using a shield, something like what I'm wearing in this video. The Quorum Skirmishers can easily hit you for 100 and the Demon Skeletons are even worse. For supplies, you're going to want around a 2.5 to 3 to 1 ratio of GFB to Avalanche. This is because everything in the spike is weak to fire except the demon skeletons, which you'll need ice for, but the zombies are immune to ice so you need GFB as well. I just use GFB until I get demon skeletons on my screen and then I switch to Avalanche. I usually bring 100 manas as well to cover healing, but if I'm really trying to PG, I'll bring extra so that I can haste in between the two spawns. Definitely remember to bring some brown mushrooms as well because none of the monsters drop any food except for the gargoyles. But if you're not concerned about waste, hunt here all the way to level 50. It's safe, it's secluded, and I doubt you can get this much experience anywhere else without a blocker. The spike is probably one of the safest spawns in the game because no one over level 49 can enter the top 3 floors where you're hunting. It's the perfect spawn to hunt on a dominated server or if you're constantly getting killed by people in other spawns. If you don't have the money to waste here but you're hunted, you can still come here and hunt the monsters one by one. I'm sure you'd still profit, especially on a paladin or knight. I've pretty much always hunted the spike alone, but this spawn was definitely created to be a team hunting spawn. I'm not sure if this is true anymore, but when the spike was first created it was the largest hunting spawn in the game. It's bigger than Liberty Bay. I've hunted here before with two mages, but I don't think there was enough monsters for how fast we were killing them. You could definitely try this place out with a 4 vocation team though. I'm pretty sure a reddit guild from Fidera or Rowana was getting around 500k an hour with 4 people in here. If the great experience isn't enough to make you want to hunt this spawn, you can also get a cool outfit called the Cave Explorer outfit if you do the tasks in here. There are four tasks you can do each day for four points, which will get you the outfit in about 25 days. Each task is worth one point, so you can pick and choose which you want to do, but it will take longer to get the outfit if you only do one a day. If you really want this outfit and don't need your character higher than 49, I highly suggest doing the tasks in the upper spike, because the middle spike and lower spike are nearly impossible to solo. So after hunting the spawn for half an hour, I still managed to sustain 440k per hour. If I popped a voucher, that would be 880k on a level 46. That is insane. Granted I am on an offline trained character, but you can still easily pull 250 to 300k an hour on a fresh level 30, which would still be ridiculously fast leveling. I honestly love this spawn and hope you guys give it a try next time you need to make a new character fast. So that's it guys. As always, if you like this video and want to see more content like this, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. I'll be reviewing more respawns as time goes on and might even dabble in some PvP videos once I get enough footage. If you have any suggestions of what you'd like to see next, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you next time.